2013 is the next year. It's the first time I ever got gold right here. I'm hyped on this one. It's the last time they did it in LA too. This is the crib. I've been here for like three years now. It's like I bought this spot and it's pretty convenient to where I like to ride. I like OB skate park. We got the view. I could take you on the balcony. This is like why got this spot because of this but now i'm kind of getting over this like i feel like i want a real backyard like i want a house this is my first goal and this is what i wanted it was to be like looking out out here thanking god for everything now i'm looking at houses i want a house i want a backyard to step out to like this ain't enough uh fresh air for me no more like this at first like being a kid out of high school too i was like bro all i need is this backyard i even want a skate park i need a park or something when I bought this, I was I was 19 or 20. I feel like I could be a lot healthier, but at the same time, I don't really, I feel like if I just put in some stuff that f makes me feel good, I don't really need to like go crazy about it. So I just kind of like do some basic shit. The only fast food we really mess with is like In-N-Out and taco shops. That's like pretty much fast food. I did one half, she did the other half. Got some eggs. Yeah, just a little scramble. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the X Games shit. I just got this one. I just came home. I got a bronze. That's my first bronze medal I ever got. Shout out to Felix and Garrett. They both killed it. All these came from having to ride with Garrett. The first one I got right here is from LA. And he won that one. This was in 2012 and so I got second. I was psyched on this one. This was my first one. I was like, I think I was 18. 2013 is the next year. It's the first time I ever got gold right here. I'm hyped on this one. It's the last time they did it in LA too. Cause I wanted to see them all together cause I ain't even seen them. Cause the last time I went to Shanghai was this 2012. This is the one from last year, Minneapolis. This one's hard. Which one means the most to you? If you had to just have one. Um, Like this one in LA, like I was saying. It was the last time my parents, they got to see me ride in the contest too. My parents, like, they don't really get to go out to contests like that much. My dad used to always be at my races. For him to be at this contest and my mom, too, at the same time, it was just dope. And it was the last time they did it in L.A., so, like, my friends got to be there. And it was just, I don't know, this one holds it down. But they told me my score, and I was, like, going crazy. Yeah, I think that shit's dope. Like, this one does mean a lot to me, man, because it caught me by surprise. Like, it was like a curse. <laughs> Like, I won this and I couldn't even get back on the podium. I couldn't even get back in the finals the next year. It was like, I couldn't even, I got gold and couldn't even like do nothing about it to like get back up there. So when I got this one, it just caught me by surprise to get a gold again. Cause I hadn't even been on the podium. And then two coming back from China and getting a bronze is just like this feeling of being back on the podium is cool. Cause I haven't been up there. You know what I mean? Like. After I got that one in LA, it was like, I couldn't even get back up there. It was like the pressure or like, I don't know what it was. It was just like, it just messed with me. Last year after X Games, like Forbes had put me in the 30 under 30 list. So they've got me right here. But like, if you look it up in the, um, online, it's like part of the description is like, last year I beat on X Games gold. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And I'm super hyped on that. You know what I mean? But it was just like, all this comes off of X Games. You know what I mean? And so, it's crazy. This is like a little shoe stash right here. Since I got off Nike, bro, I haven't really been wearing them, but I have all, I have all these dunks. These are all like Jordans, like fours. I just try not to mess them up because obviously these kicks is nice. Like, like two seventies, some random crazy ones. Cause I wasn't trying to like just be on some, <laughs> be on Nike and just get SBs. I was trying to get everything. You know what I mean? Cause I love Nike. So I was like super blessed to be able to get all this stuff from them. Like seven years I was with Nike, like seven or eight years. We're getting what you got sometimes. The drops came out, I was always <laughs> I was always on top of them because I wasn't trying to not get these, bro. The cement. I was looking at these the other day, like I just forget how many I had that I was blessed to get from Nike, bro. Because every time the drops came out, I was like notified on the website. So I was able to get them. All these colors are crazy. I'll never wear these, bro. But I had to get a pair of LeBrons. These are like the the Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> I forgot I had these. They're at the bottom of my shoe stack down here. I was like, oh, hell no, I have these. I like want to wear them, but I'm not going to wear these. These are crazy. I got to get them like signed by them or something. 
If I could do that, that would be crazy. That's like my goal in life right here, LeBron, bro. Sign these for me. This shit crazy. <laughs> I know you met Kobe. You never yeah, met LeBron. Kobe, yeah, I met Kobe, but I never met LeBron. Lately, I've been into the Yeezys because I was trying to switch it up. My girl bought me these for, uh, what is this, for Christmas? And I got a pair of the Oreos. I don't know. I've just been trying to rock different stuff other than just Nike. Literally one day, told us that we weren't going to be, the program was dropped. Like, it wasn't anyone in particular that was getting off the team. It was just the program. BMX is just going to be dropped. And it was just kind of like out of nowhere. And and we kind of like, every year we resign our contract or we redo stuff. We was always like, oh, thank God, we're not going nowhere. It's not going to go nowhere. Because there was always rumors like, oh, they're going to drop the program one day. And it never did. So we're like, Nike rocks with us. Like, nothing's going to happen ever. And it's like almost like a feeling of being too comfortable. And then they just dropped us because it was like, I don't know. I think the people in the skate office had taken over more people. And there was only so many people fighting for what we liked in the BMX side. And since they fired the dudes, that was on the BMX side. There was no one fighting for the BMX no more. You know what I mean? So I think it just got dropped through because it wasn't really. There's no ways. There was no ways for them to necessarily pick out the numbers that we did for them either because we were always rocking SB stuff, skateboard and stuff. So they never really made us a BMX shoe or BMX anything to kind of like justify the numbers and what it's doing. So if we ever help sell any skate shoe, it looked like skating is making that chunk. You know what I mean? So. I think it just looked like BMX wasn't very valuable to them, so they just kind of dropped it. But it had nothing to do with us, you know what I mean? Been dripping too long. <laughs> yeah. This one was like four thousand, maybe. How much was it? I think yeah. it was like four thousand. My market piece was pretty expensive too. I don't remember how much it was. I know it wasn't no more than five racks. I never really went in on a piece no more than five racks. Like this is like three racks right here. Well, you're smart. You bought a house instead of jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm not trying to go in on like that. Hey, we're at OB Skate Park, man. My backyard, I'm always here. My favorite part, I don't feel like that good, so I'm not even trying to go in like that. I just want to roll around. I ain't feeling the best today, but at least you could get a little jibs or something. I, like I had a cold a little before I went to China and that obviously going there and traveling on the plane and coming back didn't help. Extra spot or something. I don't even know what spot we could hit. There's ledges and stuff all around. I'm gonna look at it real quick. See what it's like. She's pretty low. Never rode it, but can't be that bad, right? <laughs> I got scared of this thing at the top. Yes, that feels real good, bro. Sick to do it to switch with. That was it. You want to get anything else on this? Up to you, bro. I'm pretty beat after the switch with, bro. That shit kind of took a few tries. <laughs> <laughs> I like how your few tries is literally four tries. <laughs> it was a few, though. That's what I'm saying. Shit, I'm sweating, man. I'm tired. Oh, fuck. I was chilling today, I told you, bro. I'm out here sweating. And I committed on the last one, bro. I was over that. My hands are all dirty. My babe shirt's all messed up. No, no. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I like this rail. I've always wanted to ride it. I always pass it when, like, 
I always go drive to go eat and whatever, and I always pass this rail, I take pictures of it and everything. Finally got to ride it, so that's cool. Actually a lot better than I thought. I was like planning on doing stuff down it, not really going up it, but then when I came through with the bike, obviously sets st stuff into different perspective when you're on the bike, so it made more sense to go up the damn thing, so it is what it is. It feels good. I'm, I'm glad we out here in the streets, man. I miss this shit. Good looking on uh, spending the day with me. I'm tired, man. I, was, I haven't really, I wasn't really ready for all this, but I'm glad you guys uh, came with me. I'm glad you guys came out and rode with me, and chilled. I didn't really do much, but I hope you enjoyed kicking it with me. You know, this is a pretty normal day in the life. I mean, I don't really do much but ride my bike, and this is like a blessing I get to have. Thankful to my sponsors for doing this, so I can ride and chill hang out when i'm not riding i like messing around with music like i have a good friend of mine named cash who uh he makes music and i i like trying to rap and put verses down but i haven't made my own song yet like from start to scratch so like that's like my goal my goal is to definitely have make a song one day like a full long one but i have verses and stuff i mean i have some verses that i feel like i could I get down on but I need to get like a whole song together so that I actually have something to show or for myself to be psyched on. Always been into rap and hip hop and all that trap shit so I can't help but want to make my own music too but it just takes you know time and, and it takes a lot for me to learn too. I'm, I want to learn how to do all that shit myself, the stuff that he can do you know and he's given me some equipment to kind of lay some stuff down on my laptop and I have some plugins and stuff I don't have the whole setup so like that's just something like I think one day when I'm done with riding that I can like put my all into and just kind of like be obsessed about but with riding being like my passion I feel like I just don't like anything to be in the way of that or nothing to get in the way of what I'm really doing and what I got going on but shit when I got free time it's just like the most fun hobby to like spit some shit and rap and like you know lay some stuff down and I have a bunch of verses in my phone and I'm like I'm ready I could put some stuff it's just a low-key thing I keep to myself like I have a bunch of songs I just want to say shout out thanks to No Jumper for letting me you know be a part of this thanks to Nate doing this with me shout out to Adam too for letting me be on this platform this is this is cool and shout out to all my sponsors Rockstar Energy obviously Haro BMX Premium Market Cinema BMX I just thank my parents, I thank my girlfriend, I thank everyone that's in my corner on my side and rocking with me. So, yeah, man, I appreciate everybody. And if you tapped in, my fans too, shout out to my fans. And, yeah, we out here, man.